Welcome to another box opening with Abram and Don of in. Sorry, a little mistake there from all these misprints we've been opening. Sorry about that, Donovan. What's going on here? I lost my train of thought and I got derailed. My bad. I'm sorry about that. So what are we doing today, Donovan? Uh, we're going to open up some more Midnight Hunt. Awesome. And uh, we just got a bunch of misprints. Yeah. Um, mostly minors, but still off-centers and uh, misaligned. Yeah. These, this box is from the same case as the other ones that we've been yeah. opening. I'm so distracted. Probably going to be misprints in this box. Uh, I want more misprints. I love misprints. Yep. Speaking of misprints, if you have misprints, contact yeah. us. We would yes, love to please. buy them. <laughs> or bring them in. Or send us an email. Yeah, on. just show them to us, yeah. too. We'd love to yeah. look at them. They're awesome. Tell us about your favorite misprints in the, in the comments. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, let's see. We pulled that, what is it, yeah, a misaligned uh, borderless wren. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Hopefully we can do that with, like, a Meat Hook Massacre or, like, an Arlen. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, any crimps as well? I mean, we or, haven't any crimps yet. There's also been uh, some misprints I've seen that had very color, weird border. Oh, like, yeah, pale yeah. borders or, like, missing colors across the card. And just really neat looks to them. Um, the cooler they look, the more they're worth potentially, and they're on a playable card, they're worth even more. So I want to start checking the backs here. <laughs> Pitting Needle. God, I remember that card when it first came out. It was just did so much. Oh, that's a little bit. It's a tiny bit, yeah. Um, hmm, I don't know. Put that one to the side for now, yeah. Put that down here and we'll see. Ooh, extended Foil Memory Deluge. I'm a fan of that card for sure. But yeah, standards in a great place right now. That's so one of the reasons why we've been opening so much product is because every time we enter in any of our standard singles, they basically sell overnight. So we're doing our best to try to keep up with the demand. Uh, so we've been, you know, more aggressive with trying to pick up stuff from people. Uh, we've been opening, you know, boxes as you can see, just trying to. Oh, is there another one? This looks a little pale to me. Oh, uh, it does look a little pale, actually. We'll have to compare it to another one. Oh, Tobor. That's pretty good. But yeah, uh, what I was saying is, um, yeah, we're just doing our best to try to support the community and our online customers and everything like that the best that we can. So part of that is just picking up stuff, opening up product to get the singles. Offering uh, trade-in off, yeah. bonuses. We actually have a promotion going on right now with our trade-ins to try to help people uh play in tournaments so whenever you do a trade-in for like magic pokemon Yu Gi Oh, any of our card games that we do tournaments for uh, if you accept an offer of 50 dollars or more you get a free tournament entry voucher that you can use towards tournament entry and you can stack those for like special events so like two of those vouchers would be a draft four of those vouchers would be a pre-release entry that's stuff like that and uh, we're going to be do doing that for a, a while. We're just trying to help out in the holiday season. Gas is up there right now. So whatever we can do to try to help out a little bit. You know, it's not just about us. It's also about helping out our customers. We appreciate everything that you do for us. Uh, we helped us be here for, uh, you know, over 28 years now. Yeah, yeah 20, yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> been a minute. Yeah. We have people coming all the time. Like, oh, I never knew the place existed. I've lived in Carmichael my entire life. I'm like, yeah, we've been here for like 20 years. That long. doesn't happen a lot, actually. Yeah. What normally happens if somebody says, I didn't know about you, did you just start collecting? Yes, yeah. how'd you know? Or did you just move to the area? Yes, how'd you know? That's yeah. usually what happens is, you know, this is a niche, a niche business. You know, we're not, uh, you know, people might drive by and go, oh, it's one of those things and not even think about it. Yeah. But as soon as they're interested in it and they walk in the door, it's a whole new world. And we just love to, to introduce people to this wonderful world and, you know, we go from there. See yeah. what we can do for everybody. Yep. Ooh, extended foil smoldering egg. Love that card so much. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yep. Yeah, so also for special events and stuff like that, once a month, we're going to try to do a special event for each of our games, whether it be like 
extra price support that we throw in or a box tournament or some type of like special release event stuff like that you know uh once a month we'll be trying to do an event like that for each of our games so like for magic we just have the player uh appreciation oh there's one yeah we just did the player appreciation tournament plus the store championship this last weekend for standard and it was a huge hit people loved it we uh you know for six dollars entry there was the promos for the store championship box abram, for first. yes abram threw in a box for first and then there was regular price support in addition it's just one of those cool extra things that we like to do here to show that we care about our community and that you know we keep giving back exactly we have our scratcher contest going on right now that yep. we give back every holiday season we have additional giveaways if you uh donate to the toy drive uh cash or toys you get entries you play in any of our tournaments except any you know any tr you know trade-ins and stuff like that this is definitely also that uh off, yeah that's uh, off center there that four is um, probably going to be off too it's foil so it might not be the foils haven't had you know, not significantly mm -hmm. the foils haven't really been having the issues it's been the non-foils um But we've been real happy to to have things going on and you know keep supporting as best as possible. Remember, like and subscribe, and you can see more of our content. We're building up more. We're going to start doing more uh, editing on our videos to make mm -hmm. them a little shorter, but also put in some effects, make them more interesting. We're going to come up with more new content, and we we would really appreciate suggestions. From everybody on what you would like to see what you might enjoy seeing us do talk about show you you know plan on doing some more misprint videos just because you know i have to go through them so much anyways because i enjoy them and I'm, i do regular uh, misprint auctions to get them out to the misprint fans and i have to constantly go through them and thought about just doing that on camera yep. why not as i as i build the new uh it's That's just... also kind of. I can see huh. the centering dots up there. We have another foil that we can compare it to. Yes, we do. This, I'll put it over here. We'll see. And we'll check these out. See what uh, it looks like at the end. Remember, we we will offer a good amount for misprints. The cooler they are, the more we can offer. And if it's on a playable card, you might even be able to get more than uh, you would be, you know, more than you think. Yep. And in collections, as we mentioned, we got the trade in. We're still offering good percentages for your big, small. We want it all, everything, you know, commons, uncommons, bulk rares, bulk mythics, bulk foils. We also want your comic books. Yes, we do. Uh, we really. That's really pale. Really, this one's really pale. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That could be another misprint there. Actually, it looks quite slip off, too. It's interesting. A lot of things come out together. If a misprint, if it's a batch of a mistake from the factory, it's generally going to be an entire sheet or multiple sheets. And then those will end up near each other quite often in the correlation which means they could be in booster packs in the same box they could be spread out amongst booster boxes in the same case and we've tried to open up you know a sealed case of this to really see if you know one collation is going to be spread out usually a little bit more between the different cards also if there is any misprints we're more likely to get a batch of them if there are some in there and that's what we may have done in this case um that we've been opening this is also a lot of the the showcases and extended seemingly. in that one slot specifically yeah. so these are more than likely from the same sheet or sheets in a near each other that were you know like i said it could be a run and we have last pack here any other announcements we're gonna make before uh -huh. we uh uh just the uh, discord we have been doing stuff in our discord uh, so people are posting deck lists, uh, just chatting about different things. I've been super active in there. 
just, you know, giving feedback on stuff, trying to find people to play, you know, arena with, meet up at the shop, etc. So definitely hit us up in there and uh we'd love to hear, you know. There's a there's basically a channel on our Discord for like everything, like would be like comics or different formats of magic or Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon. There's a ton. There's a ton of different subjects that you can choose to do. Yeah, come down, join us online, in store. We are doing in store events, uh, open play for Commander. And we really appreciate you. Let us know what we can do for you. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content.